This video is for folks who are interested in delving into a sound healing journey. So you might be somebody who has like a Tibetan singing bowl at home or has like a quartz crystal singing bowl at home and you play it from time to time and you're, you might be like on the fence about expanding it out. Or you might um, already kind of have a set of singing bowls and instruments, but Maybe you do it more for yourself um, as opposed to the public, or maybe you have a hard time seeing how you might meld the craft of sound healing into your profession so that it could enhance your profession. Um, then look no further, I got you. And as a matter of fact, if you click on the link below, you can actually get access to my free sound healing masterclass. And with this, you will get not only a, a master class where I'm like going through the different processes of sound healing, different um, information around history of sound healing and um, information around different instruments, etc. You also get access to the slides and PDF. So um, click the link below if that's of interest to you. And to continue with the conversation though, I'm going to give you some tips if you're interested in starting your sound healing journey. So number one, I would definitely say just do it. Just do it. I spent so long just, you know, second guessing, doubting myself around the, my whole like singing bowl journey. You know, I write about this in my book, The Grind Culture Detox, and there's a link below for that too. But in this book, I do write about how... I kind of ignored the call for sound healing for a while because I didn't see people who looked like me in the wellness industry. And I think it's a big shame. Like, I think that that's a big reason why I'm making this content is because I want people to know that like, number one, a lot of these wellness practices have African and, ind and indigenous lineage, number one. So a lot of this is us reclaiming knowledge that is in our bloodline so that's like number one um and number two the whole world right is originated in africa like all human the human species originated in africa so when we reclaim africa and african and indigenous knowledge it is like reclaiming a part of ourselves too so it's a form of shadow work it's a form of like deep soul retrieval so um, that's another reason why I make this content because even though I got trained, like I'm a certified sound healer, I didn't have the level of, I didn't feel like I got a cultural education on sound healing enough. So when I do work with folks and, and um, you know, I'm launching a sound healing program early next year. So stay tuned. I'll be sharing more information about that at a later date, but um, essentially like, I really wanted to provide a space for folks who are interested in cultivating a sound healing practice and are also like social justice minded or equity minded, wellness minded, and are like seeking ways to infuse this sound healing practice into their into the professional realm because sound is the, going to be the medicine of the future. And you'll hear more about why I say that um in the master class but yeah there is a there's going to be a lot more awareness around sound there's going to be a lot more study around tone vibration all that kind of stuff hurts like this stuff holds a lot of power um when you think about it um what does the bible say in the beginning there was the word what does the um the big bang theory says that you know things got created with a sound, you know? So um, there's a lot of origin stories that say that existence originated from sound. And if that is if that is the case, and I'm curious, I, I'm eager to believe that yes, that could be the case, especially if you're seeing it, um, you're seeing like the same thing being said in different ways across a spectrum of cultures. Like to me, that's a sign of like, oh, there might be some, something to look into regarding that. So, um, yeah, sound. And so like 
doing like really delving into this practice now is going to put you ahead of the game because you're already going to have crafted your sound healing practice and you're already have going to like find found find ways to like innovate so that this is really uniquely your practice and that's something i really support folks with doing is um crafting a sound healing practice that's uniquely yours right so I'm going to give you examples of instruments I play and the way I play instruments. And I do provide folks with a toolkit around like um, different instruments to play for different emotions. So I do provide that sort of stuff. But I also really encourage you to explore yourself and to become curious about the symbols that um, you know, you're attracted to, because usually the symbols that you're attracted to tell a, a larger story. So, um, so yeah, but um, so that's the first thing though, just do it, just do it, you know, like push aside the self doubt and just do it. There are resources out there to help you, okay? So um, you got the PDF plus the masterclass that I'm providing for free. You got a lot, you got YouTube, you got a lot of other places to find information to support you on your journey, but you have to say yes to yourself. So that's number one. And uh, number two would be, don't feel like you need to look or be like anyone else. And so that's why I say like, I help people craft their own unique essence in the sound healing craft. Um, because I feel like in a world where we're just like so busy feeling pressure to imitate, like let's create, like what's gonna be our saving grace is being uniquely ourselves. And you know, if we really integrate into what that is, like we will be magnet, we will attract a lot of abundance our way, okay? So um, with that being said, uh, just do it. Just to kind of wrap it up, you know, if you're thinking about delving deeper into your sound healing practice, just do it. Okay, number two, don't feel like you need to fit a certain spectrum. Find your own special sauce to throw into your sound healing practice because that's what's going to like uniquely make you you, you know. And um, number three, there are resources, free resources of support for you on your sound healing journey. Okay, and that is my free sound healing masterclass with PDF and slides. And so you can click on the link below to get more information. I also provide a recommended reading list for folks who are interested in learning more about sound healing and kind of like the theory of sound alchemy. So check that out. And until next time, y'all, remember thriving is your